Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial from Divus. It will be very short this time and we are going to see how to create a small visualization with a new app from Divus which you find on Canix IQ devices. So once you open it, check that the icon is shown like you have here, which confirms that the connection is OK. Then you can log in and the first step will be to check the configuration and to create a driver. Uh, here is how to add a new driver. Choose the type based on the type of device and the type of connection you are using. Make the scan and choose the KNX IP router which should be used for the connection. Then under data points we will have of course an empty list in the beginning and here we can check and make the ETS imported. So the first step is to choose an ESF file. So in the beginning you will start from this view. So go to the vision folder where you will have uploaded the ESF file through the Divo synchronizer before. Then here we are inside the options where you can choose one of these options. If the project is completely new and empty, then it doesn't matter. And you can say delete or you can say append. It does not make any difference in our case. Then we also choose apply import rules and we are going to add an import rule what are import rules? An import rule is used to tell Vision how it should pair group addresses through keywords which you use in your names. So for example, if you use a naming like a living room light CMD for the commanding object and living light FB for the feedback object, then you can add these keywords here and it will use them to find objects and to pair them. You can also add another keyword separated by a comma. If you have more than one rules, they will all be applied. If you have a rule which you don't need anymore, you can remove it by keeping it pushed and then deleting it. And then you push the next. And in this step, we can change the data point types if necessary and if that's not necessary, we just conclude the import and then we can check here that now the data points list is not empty anymore. We will have all the imported objects here and these are data points. So a data point has one group address or a pair of group address if the pairing was successful through the import rule which we created before. So now it's very easy and fast to add a new room. I hit the plus button in the lower right and I insert the information. So the main information is giving a name, choosing a picture. And you can also add the description, but it's not mandatory. There is a list of pictures you can choose from. You can scroll it to choose one or you can just read. We have one matching living rooms. And here is our first room. When I click it, I go inside the room. And when I hit the plus button from here, I will add an element. The easiest element is, for example, a light. It has just one function to turn the light on and off. Also here, I can add a description if needed. And of course, I will choose a type. We said on off. And for on off types, you have a set of icons and of descriptions to choose from. So we are choosing the light. And here you see the light is immediately added to the room. I can switch both from the lights uh, graphical representation, but also from the room. From the room, I'm able to switch all the lights of the room on and off. And this function is added automatically. And we will add a second light just to confirm this function of the central commands which are automatically added. So now I have a second light and I can of course push them individually, but I can also push them through this central function. But we still did not 
link any data points so nothing is happening on the KNX bus. I can also open and go to the detail view of an element and add it to the favorites from here, for example. And here I find it in the favorites page. But to actually make something happen on the KNX bus, we need the last step linking an object. So we keep our finger or our mouse pointer pressed and we push on this icon here for linking the functions. So a light has just one function. So here I have a list of available data points of the matching type. I will choose the correct one, of course, control here and then confirm. And now if I push this same button, it's not only a graphical thing I see here, but it will trigger uh, KNX telegrams to turn the light on and off. So in this very easy way, you can add any other number of elements. Thank you for watching and see you at the next video.